I think we're live. I think it's live. Everything is so scrubbed. <laughs> I have been so busy. This week has been, it looks like I've done nothing. It looks like I've done nothing at all. But it's actually been like the busiest week ever and I was half dead for half of it <laughs> so uh, instead of anything that makes any sense because I don't have a brain anymore we get bus time <laughs> yes I know I'm inside a train station no I don't have a permit to be inside the train station with my bus I also don't have my license, but that that's another problem. <laughs> we just, we don't worry about it. We don't worry about it. I was gonna try to get a bunch of YouTube videos and have like some cool backgrounds. And we could even go in, yeah, I was gonna do a whole magic school bus adventure. Like we go with dinosaurs and inside bodies and all this cool stuff and I have had so many IRL emergencies come up that I didn't prepare anything. <laughs> so instead, you know, I didn't want to cancel or postpone or anything because it has been, it has been such a hectic week that I just wanted to chat anyway. <laughs> so we have VR chat. We, we can, we can find worlds and decide places as we go. It's fine. <laughs> You guys, you guys are here for me. No, you're not here for me. You're here for my bus. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Even if we're in the train station, even though it's scuffed, it's fine. Cause you know what I got in case anyone fucks with us? <laughs> be big motherfuckers! So they better not mess with us or I will. I will run them over. I will. <laughs> Since chat's a bit slow, let me scroll through and say hi to everyone. Okay, but real quick. Jen, Kimo, and Josh, and Yeltar, and Tiportin, and Tony, and Zerk, and TGM, and is that toast? And da -da 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 -da, and Gummo, and Brennan Slipes. So much panic, I crashed the bus in the subway. No, this is intentional. <laughs> this is intentional. Hello, oh, Brennan Slipes. I can't isekai anyone. Don't worry, the bus, the bus is no danger. It's not a truck. I'll like switch to a truck if we're feeling adventurous. I also have a truck. <laughs> I could, I could isekai some people. I mean, we can do a truck stream sometime. We just call it Get Isekai'd. Then we just hop around in the truck. <laughs> I like the lighting inside the bus. Me too! It's so dark. And my hand clips through the steering wheel. It's so realistic. I love it. <laughs> I probably could have got it better, but I was like, I'm so tired. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't have a driver's license. I've admitted. But it's fine because I'm driving the bus indoors, which is illegal anyway. So, you know, the police are already after me. Speaking of which, the police are after me, so... I should probably, probably, probably get moving. <laughs> uh, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Um, yes, my bus is going up the stairs. This is... This, it's a special... It's a special, particularly strong and powerful bus. Just because your bus can't go upstairs doesn't mean my bus can't go upstairs. <laughs> oh, look at this. My bus can also go on the bus. I am on a bus in my bus right now. Or I would be if this bus was moving. Maybe this is a station, not a bus. It sure looks like a vehicle though. Also, Oscar, thank you so much for one month. Mammy passed your stop, but I didn't even get to a stop yet. It's impossible. <laughs> I guess that was a station, not a bus. Uh, that's fine. I am the bus, so let's go driving. Let's go driving. We don't need a bus. We are the bus. <laughs> we left him behind. Oh, true. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we didn't stop at a stop in the first place. Also, oh my God, I love these so much. This is like a random Japan street area. It's actually really fun to play in VR. Um, I've been there before and it, it, it was nice and cozy. <laughs> oh, hi, can you drop me off at Walmart? No, we're in Japan, there's no Walmart. <laughs> I could not drop you off at Walmart. Maybe we can go to Kmart later though. You wanna go to Kmart? <laughs> 
we can drive the bus indoors at Kmart, right? You guys want to see the back, the back rooms, the scary secret areas? <gasps> we could drive the bus in the back rooms. <laughs> Ignore the, the fact that my tracking is so broken. I am just so dead. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm not kidding you guys. So far this week, I've had 10 meetings. I've had 10 meetings and recorded 10 videos. No, 11 meetings. No, 12 meetings. 12 meetings. And I recorded 11 videos. And I have like four more before the week ends. <laughs> I am like fucking dead. <laughs> it looks like I did nothing this week, but trust me, there's stuff coming. There's stuff coming. Mm -mm -mm. Um. Anyway, out of these drinks, the coffee, the one that says black, that is good. That's the good shit. In case you ever find one of these vending machines. Also, the green tea bottle, the one that's green and says Ocha. It's like Oi Ocha brand. That's that shit's good. That shit's good. They don't have my favorite in this machine. This machine is horrible. Also, that tea, the one that has like, um, I think that's the kind that has matcha in it. It might not be. It's not like ma matcha milk though. It's like just matcha and water. It's really good. Oh, more. Oh, and there's potato chips in this vending machine. That's pretty rare. Nice. I guess this one's acceptable. There's also like a maid cat girl or something on it. Uh, anyway. Let's go drive in. Let's go drive in. Can I drive inside the food court? <laughs> I can drive inside the food court. Don't mind the fact that I just crashed my bus through the window. Um, I don't see any people, so it's probably not illegal. As long as I don't get caught, I don't think it's illegal. It looks like a pretty dead mall though. There's like nothing in here. It's like, oh, there's a restaurant. I wonder what this is. It's probably some sort of like yakiniku place. If it's like, if it looks like this, maybe. Or like a diner. It's very plain. <laughs> it's very shitty. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna leave again. Most of the stores here look really empty though. I wonder if because the stores are like stupidly empty, if I could steal some of this for like my parking space. Save money for the bus. I can go upstairs. We can totally take a bus on the on the escalator. This is so normal. This is so normal, don't worry about it. <laughs> you get dino nuggies? No! You want what's a burger? What's burger? You wanna know why you can't get dino nuggies? Because dino nuggies are shit, and I'm not afraid to say it. This restaurant does not serve dino nuggies! Those are the worst kind of nuggies. They should be outlawed. Absolutely blasphemous use of chicken. <laughs> oh, can I get money, I see? Yeah, we don't we don't have dino nuggies. Get better taste buds if you want dino nuggies. Wait, is that? Oh, oh! I found the parking lot. You probably have to pay for it. So I don't want it. Hello, Nibby. I don't want to use the parking lot. I gotta get out of here. I gotta spend money down here. <laughs> Let me out! How about the smiley potatoes? I guess those are acceptable. Smiley potatoes can be pretty good. Mm mm mm. Smiley potatoes don't taste like shit, to be fair. Mm -mm. Yeah. I feel like every time I see a dino nuggie, I just imagine what life the chicken could have had <laughs> if it was not to do a dino nuggie. I have a very bad feeling. I'm following the arrows exactly as I should be, and it's not letting me leave this building. I'm starting to get a little frightened. Hello, cats! Please let this be a normal field trip. So far, we're not doing a very good job of escaping the parking lot, so I'm not so sure. <laughs> Hello, Yanomir! I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm still a bit of a new driver. You see, it, it, it just feels like the arrows never end. They never fucking end. Good thing there's no pedestrians. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I really don't have my license. <laughs> I wonder if I can go through the wall. Because I don't think this parking lot's gonna ever let me out. Can I drive through the wall? Whee! Oh shit. I could drive through the walls of the mall, but I can't drive through the walls of the parking lot. Oh god. How do we leave? How do we leave? <laughs> um. I may have just brought us into the back rooms of parking lots, chat. I don't know if we're getting out of this one. Wait, what's this? 
What's this? <laughs> I found some new roads. As it's supposed to be one F. Can I leave? Can I leave now? Can I go through these walls? Oh god. Oh god. Can I go? Oh, I'm going in the elevator. It's fine. We're back in the mall. Now I can go through the wall. Whee! <laughs> oh, Petros, what do you mean worst driver? Wait, bus! Wait for me! I want to go inside the bus! It's busception! No! Okay, I guess we're not going in the bus. Um, That adventure has ended prematurely. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> We're getting out of the parking lot with this one. We did! The fuzzy ducky, we did! Also, hello to the kids! What is this? It's like scales. Is this like a post office? Can I weigh the bus? I don't think so. Maybe I can weigh the bus. Oh shit, that's me. <laughs> I try to look down at the scale. It's just my tits. I don't think that's gonna help me figure out how much the bus weighs. <laughs> Any restaurant. Ah! <laughs> no! Wait. I'm sorry, we got isekai We got isekai The entire bus just got hit by a fucking truck. <laughs> Somehow we're alive though, I think. I think. Hello, Fortune I want this like futuristic car. It's more like an 80s style futuristic car. Like what they thought cars would look like by now in the 80s. I'm gonna go inside this abandoned building. See where it takes me. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Also, how are you, Mimi? Can you get to be my passenger princess? Are you sure you want to be? I've driven through many walls today. I've driven through a lot of walls. I mean, I'll be honored if you want to be my passenger, but um, I, I may have gotten us stuck in a parking lot for an extensive amount of time. I may also have driven through a couple walls and then driven into a wall that wouldn't let me drive through it. <laughs> See, it's fine. I'm a very, very safe driver. I say even though I don't have my license, just to just trust. Just trust. Woo! Oh, I reached the top. There's nothing on the top. Just abandoned apartment buildings. Can I leave through the window? I guess I'm too big for the window. Can I leave through this window? <laughs> yeah! It's okay. It's a... It's a... It's definitely a very legit flying bus. <laughs> this is fine. I actually really love um, Japanese towns in the countryside when they have like hills like this. It's so nice. My number one recommendation for people whenever they visit Japan is actually try everything you can to get outside of Tokyo and go explore like the countryside towns. They can be really, really nice. Oh, no channels! Oh my god, there's corn. Wait, these... Why... <laughs> Why did they just look alive? This is like a whole army. Why the... <gasps> even the corn. Oh god, even the corn! Is this one of my melatonin nightmares? <laughs> I... I... Oh god, even the cat. Even the cabbage. And the carrots! And the beets! We have eyes, sir. They have ears and eyes and entire head. Oh no. What is this? What is this? What is this thing? <laughs> I. I. I don't, I don't actually know what this is supposed to be, but it scares me a lot. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Hello, Black Yoshi Star. I didn't isekai anyone, but we got hit with a truck. We kind of got isekai a little bit. Oh God, what is this? What is this? That's like someone decapitated like a Luffy, but he's a balloon. I don't even know. What is this world? I didn't explore it enough clearly when I played before. There's a lot of cursed shit I don't remember. <laughs> $5,000 ticket. Nah, no ticket. No ticket. Mm -mm -mm. I have one hand off the wheel, but luckily it's a long stretch, so we should be fine. <laughs> oh, Astoria! 
gonna run like I over and keep going. What do you mean? I'm, I've ran through some walls, but I haven't hit a single person. Mainly because I haven't seen a single person. It's almost like they abandoned the city. They evacuated, hearing that I was on the way. They just, they, they all left. <laughs> oh, nerf me up, why are you in a bus? Because it's bus time. Wait, this is a creepy tunnel. What's in the creepy tunnel? We can get, we can get spirited away. <laughs> ah! Are we gonna wake up in like a bathhouse? What is this? Why does the tunnel lead to some creepy bunker shit? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the fuck? There's pencils though. Can I write with it? Uh, maybe it's not pencils. I was gonna write, I was here. I think I should escape. <laughs> oh, John Sears and Christopher Run. I think I should leave. I don't, I don't feel like I'm supposed to be here. I just have like an overwhelming feeling that I shouldn't be here right now. <laughs> um, can you get off? I'm not unsafe at all. If you want to get off, you can jump off while the bus is moving. <laughs> it's much safer on the bus than jumping off. Trust me. Trust. Trust. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember once I took, um, I think it was in Saitama. I was actually, one of the towns I stopped at, I don't remember um, what the main one is, but I stopped at the town that Anohana takes place in, and uh, I didn't even know that until afterwards, until the entire trip was over. Um, someone that was there was like, that's so cool, after watching Anohana, I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> They're like, it missed the town! I'm like, oh really? All I remember is that I got to go on a cool boat, and I got to have taiyaki, that had sweet miso paste in it, which I thought sounded weird having dessert with miso, but it was amazing! Hell yeah, and your mom and I let Mm mm mm. Oh god, there's a split. Let's go this way, because I can. <laughs> it was really cool getting to drive through like winding mountain roads and stuff. Oh! No, I don't want sticky keys. Fuck off, PC! <laughs> I'm holding shift because I would like to run! Mm mm. Mm 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 mm. That was cool. I really want to someday get like um, the problem with doing Google um, Google Maps is that Google Maps has a habit of trying to pull up your IP address and like addresses and stuff, and that makes me like stupid paranoid. <laughs> but I think it'd be so fun to do like an exploring Google Maps and VR stream where I can take you guys to cool places I've been and we look around and stuff. I just gotta figure out a safe way to do that. Uh -uh. Oh, no fair at footfalls! I see footfalls in my entire brain. It's like, da da. Oh my god, it's a toilet. Da 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 Okay, any of you guys got pee? I know bus trips can be a little overwhelming, especially if you're scared shitless because of my driving. I said, any of you guys gotta go. Now. Now is your only time, your only chance. Use the toilet or forever hold your pee. Go, go, go! <laughs> you must, you must hurry. You must hurry. It's, it's not a, it's not a, 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 it's not a small toilet. I guess it is a big toilet when I crouch. Okay, that's it. That's all your time. There's no more time to pee. We're leaving. <laughs> Let's hope you peed. Let's hope you peed. Um. Oh wait, there's a sink. Okay, don't forget to wash your hands. Oh wait, there's a, there's a urinal, I think. If anyone needs it, there, there's also a urinal. The entire bus is watching you though. So you probably don't want to use this urinal. Um, but if you're really, really desperate, it, it, it exists. <laughs> but there's, there's that, maybe it's a water fountain filling thing. I don't know, it looks like a urinal, but there's no door. There's no door. That is public indecency. That is not okay. <laughs> don't use that urinal. <laughs> That's illegal! Oh, Greg Jensen, Anthony is dead. Don't, don't use that one. Here's the sink. Okay, you gotta wash your hands. Let me wash your hands. That, that's the, definitely the sound of washing hands, not the sound of the human being. <laughs> also, um, I was gonna say we can go in the gift shop, but the gift shop looks a little more like an interrogation room, so I think we're not going in the gift shop. It scares me. Oh, how is that udon vending machine? I still don't like it, so we're leaving. <laughs> oh, Eric Ruby. Oh, no, God, not this thing again. Not that thing again. 
I wonder if it's like the town mascot or something. I'm just gonna find one of the machines that has like the good stuff. There, do you guys like the view? Ah. The view is kind of like the view in Higurashi. Hello, Lord Theo. We're, we're sitting on, on the top of the bus and then all you hear, all you hear is, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> there! And then, then you know that it's, um, you should probably get off the bus. <laughs> You can you can stay on the bus if you really want, but uh, you might want to leave town before the syndrome kicks in. You know, you just gotta be careful. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I remember going in this before when I was exploring in my Final Fantasy avatar. That's like some sort of weird alien ship or something. I wonder if that's what that weird creature came from. Can I still go inside the alien ship? Ooh, heck yeah! Let's drive up the spiral stairs and try to figure out what's at the top of this thing. <laughs> yeah! It's like a telescope. I don't think I can use it though. Can I use it? I think I'm just spinning the top. Is that like a laser beam? Oh God, I think it has a laser beam. I think I'm destroying the place. Oh, I should run away, that's a crime. How do I get out? <laughs> Oh no! I have to find the stairs. There's the stairs. I must run. They, they can't know. They can't know I activated the laser. They can't know it was me. Why can't I leave? Why are the buttons stuck? Oh, there we go. Okay, this game. Oh, Nikki! Ugh. I keep getting stuck. Okay, we're out. We did it. We escaped. We escaped. You know what I kind of want to do though? I mean, luckily I have an off road bus. I kind of want to drive to the top of the hill and see if there's anything else. Meow! Just as high as I can get on the hill. I'm gonna go off the road a bit. <laughs> We're just driving through the woods. This is, this is totally fine. I just have to get to the highest point before we pick another place to go and see if there's anything cool from the highest spot. Um, in theory, this is fine. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I think we hit like an immersion breaking wall. I'm just like getting out of reality. You know, if you ever drive far enough that you see an immersion breaking wall, you probably should wake up. It's probably a dream. That being said, I don't quite feel like it's time to wake up yet. So let's go somewhere else. Let's go to Kmart, if it still exists. Yeah! You guys said Walmart. We can't go to Walmart. So let's go to Kmart and we can drive through the store. <laughs> this is totally legal. And if there's any customers, you know what we do. We just get out of the way. <laughs> it's, it's fine. We don't, we don't, we don't need the customers. We just drive through. <laughs> Oh, the fun is at Walmart. Well, Walmart doesn't exist here. Walmart doesn't exist here. Speaking of Walmart, I was doing my taxes and I found, um, I was looking through like one of my main business cards. You're just gonna go inside the Kmart. And I noticed that I had a $500 receipt for one day at Walmart, but I don't remember ever buying anything for $500 at Walmart, like at all. I literally don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> and it doesn't say, it just says that it is, it is expensive. So I gotta find the customer service spot and be like, what is this? Here's my invoice number. Why why do I have a $500 charge from Walmart? I don't understand. <laughs> Hello, T Grady. You used to work at Kmart? Why we gotta destroy it? Because you said used to. You said used to. You don't work there anymore, it's fair game. What is Paw Trist? Can I play it? Oh my god, I can play it. Wait, wait, wait. I think it's meant to be played in VR. <laughs> Maybe I won't play Paw Trist from a bus. I didn't know you could play the arcade games here though. I gotta come back in VR. Flappy hat. Wait, this one might work. I wonder, I wonder if this one works here. 
What am I supposed to do? This? Oh yeah! Let's go! Oh oh oh! Uh, uh. <laughs> I didn't even make it past one. Let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, fancy roll! Wait, wait. Yeah! Oh shit! <laughs> Working, huh? A word master. I don't know how to working. Um, arcade. I have to come back here with some people in VR. Asteroids and pinball. Oh my god, the pinball works. Oh my god, the pinball works. I gotta come back here <laughs> when I'm not in a bus. You know, the bus might nerf me a little bit. Mm -hmm. I love how they have self checkouts. Do Kmart's even exist anymore? I don't think that ever seen one in person. I've only heard about them. Oh. No, they don't. <laughs> I thought so. Because I'm like, I hear about them, but I don't think I've ever seen one. You see, this must be when they were going out of business. Because some, <laughs> some of the shelves look a bit empty. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Costa Dragon. They have a bunch of, I want to see what they got. They got a weighted blanket. <gasps> Do any of you guys have a weighted blanket? I've been debating getting one to try to deal with my insomnia. The problem is, you're not supposed to have a weighted blanket that is over 10% of your body weight. And I can't, I can't find any. <laughs> I can't find any, let her light enough. I need to. Oh, they updated for Easter. They got like eggs and Easter stuff. That's so cute. The seasonal merch. Mm -hmm. I want to get a weighted blanket though, because I heard they're really good for like getting rid of insomnia and helping people sleep and shit. So I thought that'd be nice. Oh my god, hats. I wish you could wear the hats. I love how Kmart has top hats. <laughs> for those of you who have been alive when Kmart existed, whenever that was, did they have top hats? <laughs> Can you confirm if the Kmart top hats were. Oh shit, where'd it go? Shit, where'd it go? Where'd my window go? Oh god, the resolution changed to like nothing. Okay, we're back. We're so back. <laughs> we're so back. They did have hats. Did they have top hats? No. Kind of look like Burton's hat. Oh god, did they have these ugly yellow hats? I don't know what's worse. <laughs> these are the top hats. I love how the makeup and stuff just looks like really bad scanned photos. <laughs> Part of me wonders if they just take photos from like straight up Walmart and put them here. So it's kind of Walmart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On your very young cameras were still around. Nice. Look, they're free. Let's get a humidifier, chat. Keep me nice and hydrated while I stream. Oh my god. Oh, it's, it's briefs. I thought it was diapers. I guess it's like, I don't know, maybe adult diapers or something. I thought it was like baby diapers. <laughs> I was like, maybe I can get one for my dog. Just in case. <laughs> She's very good though. And not woven bins. The flannel blanket. This is pharmacy! I can go here to get your drugs. Can you go in the back? Damn it. I was gonna go raid the drugs. <laughs> I guess I can't. The door seems to be locked. I can't even drive a bus through the window. Damn. They're really well protected if I can't even drive a bus through the window. Wait, can I drive a bus through the door? Come on, some people gotta want to RP pharmacist. Can you let me in? It kicked me out! <laughs> it kicked me out of the store! How dare! I only wanted to raid the drug counter! Why are you gonna kick me out like that? Can we ride? Oh my god, on the bus, we can ride. We can ride the little merry-go-round thing. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm off that thing. It's getting me motion sickness. <laughs> I'm going in the outdoor. Fuck, it won't let me in the outdoor. I want it to be a menace. I guess they don't want me to be a menace. I guess I have to behave. Second Molly. I see the fitting rooms. I wonder if they have any clothes you can try on. Probably not. It's all like the same stock flat PNG shirts anyway. I'm not sure they'd look very good at me. The shapes don't the shapes the shapes don't look very flattering. 
Oh god, I brought you guys in the changing room. There's me. <laughs> it's me not trying on anything because I don't want to try on anything right now. Because these clothes are all ugly. But you can you can see me in the middle. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine you're on a bus and you fall asleep on the bus and you look out the window and that's what you see. <laughs> that um that would be an experience. I'm not so sure how I would feel looking out the bus and seeing that. But <laughs> Hello fans! Maybe maybe I should leave the changing rooms. Yeah. All the clothes are ugly anyway. How, how do I get out of here? Okay. Yeah, I don't think I think they're probably all the same. Mm -mm. That's fine. Hello, oh, our sniper! I tried going in the changing room, but all all the clothes are really ugly anyway. We don't want them. <gasps> I'm driving a bus inside Kmart. Non-humanoid apparel. Oh yes, shirts for furries. I'm glad I'm glad they they know their you know VR chat audience. They 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 included everyone. Yeah. Even even the like you know what? It's hard. It's hard being a furry in VR. You need a place to go and buy shit, and they only make shit for people. So there you go. It's the section. There it is. You know where to go. Oh my god, so many Batman shoes. So many Batman shoes. <gasps> I wanna go, I was gonna take you guys in the back of Kmart, which is, no admittance, employees only. I'm an employee, bitch! I'm a CEO, just not of your company. Can you not let me in? I got kicked out again. We try one more time. <laughs> we try one more time and I rage quit. I rage quit Kmart. <gasps> they won't let me commit crimes. So I'm boycotting their store. <laughs> Which doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> hmm. Oh, let's see. This is fine. Oh, well, my fan's not on. That's why I'm sweating to death. Oh, the moon blast! We just looked in the mirror. Everyone already got a nice look at my face and my soulless dead eyes. <laughs> you missed it! Oh my god, it's Gura! Oh my god, you can buy Gura at Kmart! This is life changing. Seeing the Gooba in a store that went out of business before Gooba debuted. This is truly the best timeline. <laughs> oh, thank you for the zipper! I, I, I will not buy pants. I refuse. I'm gonna, uh, you know what? I, I'm, I'm boycotting this place. I can't buy the pants anyway. Oh gosh, what a shame. Buy the vacuum, suck up everyone's pants, and you could no one can wear pants anymore. <sighs> oh, let that make me see. Alcoholic beverages. That's what the sign says, alcoholic beverages, but all I see is frosted fleece. <laughs> Uh, Tony the Tiger has got this place too. I like how the Pepsi is not even normal Pepsi. It's like Obi-Wan Kenobi Pepsi. <laughs> I, it's really fun to visit this place in VR actually because it literally feels like being in a store. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, why would you not want why would you not want people to wear pants? Because pants are terrible. Why would you want to wear pants? Should be the real question. Guys, we gotta we gotta pick a movie. We gotta pick a movie. Cause I'm one of those rare people who still likes physical movies. You can get Home Alone too. I know it's not Christmas time. Oh yeah, but Home you Alone get too that is a money. classic. You can watch Home Alone too, maybe. <laughs> Are there any better movies? Let's see. We gotta pick a movie. He already know exactly. Pants are terrible. You understand me. You get me. <laughs> We're driving our bus through Kmart. Uh huh. That's totally legal. I don't have a license anyway, so what are they gonna do? <laughs> Probably arrest me double. <gasps> the Adams Family and Labyrinth! I saw Ghostbusters too, I'm kinda curious. I don't remember Ghostbusters, if I've seen it or not. I might've been really on. Back to the Future, they got the whole trilogy, let's go. We have movie night for like a month now. We'll just get the whole trilogy, we'll pick it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen very many of these movies. At all, like almost all of these. Princess Bride! We can finally have our Princess Bride member watch along that I've been meaning to do for three fucking years now. <laughs> it's here. 
The Princess Bride. I can I can buy it right now. We have no excuse <laughs> to watch it. <laughs> it's finally happening thanks to Kmart. Mm -mm. What's that Batman the Tim Burton one? I don't really watch um Batman movies, but I heard that Pickles said the Tim Burton one's pretty good. Oh my god, Spaceballs! <laughs> I haven't seen Spaceballs either. I've only heard things. Mm -mm. What do they got? There's so many old movies. I mean, I guess it's Kmart. They don't want to make it too modern. Or people might people might figure out it's fake. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Carry a tune, the portable karaoke. <laughs> even at Kmart. You know, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh my god, the animated suit. Do they have any, any good animated movies? I don't even rep- Wait, Back to the Future had a cartoon? What? I don't think I've seen that. Oh my god, wait, Five Old! <gasps> they don't have the first one though. Mm -mm. Maybe they think of a super! You think your cousin was an extra in Princess Bride? That's so cool! Where's all the good? Fern Gully! I've never seen Fern Gully, I don't think. I'm a huge fan of Don Bluth, but I've never seen Fern Gully. I keep meaning to, and every time I have a chance to watch it, I forget. I gotta watch Fern Gully. Oh god, it's such creepy train. <gasps> oh, Slicer! Like, Is this one of those carts for kids? No, I'm driving my bus through Kmart because I can. <laughs> it's you know, we just don't worry about it. Just, just just don't worry about it. It's 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 probably not fine, but it's fine! We have so many. I'm just looking at all the movies at this point. And like, now I want to watch movies. <laughs> and if I had a screen that played movies, this would be dangerous. Because I'd probably just go sit there and literally watch a movie. And then get DMCA'd to hell and back. I wonder what kind of... Oh my god, they have... <laughs> I have rehab! What? What is this ancient technology? What the fuck is this? This is not Windows. This is not my Windows. What is this Windows? It doesn't even say what version of Windows is. It's just the first Windows? You guys know where to get um, a Windows PC. Just the first Windows. You know where to go. Kmart. <laughs> it is the first one. Nice! Oh my god. Oh my god, they have missed! I always wanted to try that. Oh my god, there's so many old games. Wait, going to Kmart was actually such a good idea. Holy shit. I'm just admiring Dalek Attack again. Admiring all the games. Kind of Persia. Mario teaches typing. <laughs> Is that a real game? Hello, Tempestor and Fury. Man. Oh no. It's Put Put. I don't know anything about Putt Putt other than I watched someone streaming it once and I just like noped out so quickly. I was like, this is so cursed, I can't even look at it. <laughs> oh my god, it's old monitors. I love old monitors. I still have an old monitor. More like I found it in the garbage and I just took it in and adopted it and it's one of my monitors that I use for streaming. <laughs> A monitor is so old that I'm lucky it hasn't caught fire yet. It's fine. Uh -uh. Putt Putt goes to the moon. Is there more than one Putt Putt? Oh my god, instant cameras. Are instant cameras still even a thing if people can use smartphones? Oh my god! Oh wait, never mind. I'm, I'm so spacey. I thought this was an NES, but it's an alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is not an NES. Um, never mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at the phones. Wait, what the fuck is this? A Bart Simpson phone. But why? <laughs> but why? Garfield phone. Okay, I would actually buy the Garfield phone. That is so cursed. I would use a normal landline just to have the Garfield phone. <laughs> mm. I feel like probably most people don't have a landline anymore, which is actually a big concern. Honestly, more than you think, or even like um, wireless landlines, it's really good to have a wired landline if you can. Oh, so it's gonna come out of the event of the make top design. <laughs> I have um, I have a landline that's fully wired for safety reasons, because the warehouse tends to lose power a lot, and can, there can be emergencies. So I need a way that uh, I can still reach people even when the power's out. 
Um, so if you're in a place where you have a lot of like power loss, it's really good to have. Um, also, there's NES down here. <gasps> oh! I think that is an actual one. Oh yeah. We're driving a bus through Kmart. It's it's fine. Don't worry too much. <laughs> You're missing your CRT. I actually really like CRTs. Oh my god, a Game Boy! The OG. I don't have an OG. I never had an OG. I mean, nice to have an OG. Mm -mm. Oh god, it's so surreal. Even this is not a real store. Seeing all these old games in a store, even if the store is fake. <laughs> mm. This is the air. Oh my god, Game Boy games in a store. <gasps> I would die to see that. That would be so cool. They have, what do they have? They have Metroid, Zelda. Most of them I don't recognize at all. Oh yeah. Battletoads. <laughs> Electric Blue Boy, we're driving a bus through Kmart. It's great. Oh, Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oh, Mario. Final Fantasy Legend. Wasn't Final Fantasy Legend a lie? Wasn't that part of Saga? Or am I thinking of something else? <laughs> I feel like it might have been part of Saga and it was just totally like a lie to market it in the West. <laughs> I don't know if I'm thinking of the right game though. Mm -mm. Oh man. Wario's Woods! I've always wanted to play that. I'm Super Mario and Duck Hunt. I do have a copy of that actually. Mm -mm -mm. And then we got, oh my god, Mario World. I never had an SNES. I think I, I think I have one that like my siblings have that I could borrow now. <laughs> I love how Kmart has like CRTs and NES and old phones and then Vive trackers. <laughs> there, there's some weird timeline shit going on here, but that's fine. Oh my god, and they have quests. They have quests. And th this this feels very surreal. I feel like something's wrong. Like I stepped into this aisle and time has like broken. <laughs> yeah, this Kmart's pretty wild. Not gonna lie, I would kind of love to go in here in real life though. And just go through and like explore everything that shouldn't be here. I also love how the garden section is fucking empty. I mean, it's still very cold out. Fresh plants delivered today. What plants? You have no plants! <laughs> this is a lie. This is an absolute lie. Like, even if you go outside, there's no plants. There is no plants. This is the saddest garden section I've seen in my life. Either that or it's the most hype garden section. And it's actually sold out already because it's that good. I think this is like the toy aisles or something too. No one wants to buy them. <laughs> They are fresh. I guess when they exist, they're fresh. Mm hmm. They don't seem to exist now. Jinky Money with a Super! Boss, can I still be on such an adventure with you guys even when I turn 40? I mean, I don't want any age can be here. And I don't know. If you're like 99, you can you can join the bus. This bus, but we wait for no one. We wait for no one. If you if you don't get on the bus early enough, all you're gonna hear is That is not the car horn I thought it was. <laughs> I uh, this entire day has been so weird that I don't have a brain anymore, which is why we're busting through Kmart. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, there's Lego. I used to really like Lego. I never really played with your typical like girly toys. I was very much like I, I, I did not like girl stuff growing up. Like I always wanted. I never played it properly, so don't don't be like, oh my god, you know how to play? No, I don't. I never played properly. I was more into like. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I just like collecting them though. I didn't know how to play. <laughs> I was more into like Hot Wheels and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Basically anything that like little boys were into, that was my shit. If you showed me a doll, I was like, EW! <laughs> oh yeah, baby, get that money. <laughs> nah, I just wanted to go outside, play in the dirt, like collect bugs, find salamanders, and like play with cars and shit. <laughs> I'll see you when I don't want. Uh -huh. I never got to go to a real Kmart, so this is like very exciting for me, even if it's a fake Kmart. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wanna go in the auto section. They don't have car parts either. This entire store is a lie. 
I feel like there used to be a food court and I cheesed some stuff in there to get into like the Kmart back rooms. <gasps> we, can, we can kind of get in the staff area here. We can work on the cars. Or we can steal the cars. We probably have the keys. I'm not an actual employee and I'm already committing crimes. So in theory, I can't be more arrested than I already am. I wonder if they somehow locked it. So unless you like toggle something where you're RPing as staff, you can't get in the staff areas anymore. Because I've definitely been in staff areas before and it won't let me now. Also, this is a very intimidating bathroom. This feels more like a jail cell than a bathroom. I don't want to use it. <laughs> this place is scary. Mm -mm. The old Kmart near you Spirit Halloween and vacant the rest of the year. I feel like that's how it is often. Wait, oh god, weird storage. I feel like a lot of stuff like that ends up getting turned into, like, seasonal stuff because it's really big warehouse stores. It makes me wonder if one day Walmart might end up dying in kind of the same way. Anyway, let's go. I'm, I'm getting hungry, so let's go to McDonald's. <laughs> I think I think there's a McDonald's. I don't know how how accurate the McDonald's is. We can, we can go to McDonald's. <laughs> I went to McDonald's a couple days ago for the first time since they had the anime collab, and it was so jarring. Seeing katakana on the like order screen outside of Japan, I was like, I, I did a double take. I was like, am I awake? <laughs> and then I remembered the collab and I was like, oh, <laughs> it threw me off so hard. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we're taking a pit stop. We're taking a pit stop. They're now hiring. If any of you guys need a job, you can go work at McDonald's and make my fries. So, we're doing a little quick stop on our bus adventure for anyone who might be hungry. Um, I'm gonna just, you know, they they have enough of these, they won't miss them. So let me just uh, take some Coca-Cola first. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're a bus. So I feel like we should probably go through the drive through But also, I, as a CEO, I kind of like to make my own drive through So we're gonna go in through the window. Okay, I can't go in through the window. <laughs> they knew, they knew I would try. We can go in through the door. Oh my God, we can't go in through the door. This is a crime. Oh wait, we can, I just have to open the door. <laughs> okay, okay, um, the, the new, you know the new McDonald's meta is that you drive through but inside inside also i have to do the first thing i do when i go to a mcdonald's to tell if this is going to be a safe establishment to eat or not we have to inspect the bathrooms well, Eva, if the bathrooms are too scary we have to leave immediately we have to immediately leave i don't trust the mcdonald's where the bathrooms make me want to vomit okay so they have they have some paper towel left that's a good sign it means people are probably actually washing their hands. Who let them get in? And the sink, you know, it's pretty clean. It's pretty clean. This isn't too bad. I don't like how tall how, how tall it is. I have to kind of jump to wash my hands. Um, because it's at like chin level, but you know. It's relatively clean, so I'll take it compared to what it could be. Um, the stalls don't open. I'm gonna assume that they're maybe occupied. Um, so I'm gonna crouch down and inspect just the floor from the outside. I'm being kind of weird, but it's just looking at the floor. Wait a second! There's a secret room in that stall. Do you guys see it? On the ground? You see that dark shadow? That's a room. There is a room. There is a secret room. In this bathroom stall. And I can't get there because it won't let me in. I don't trust this bathroom. <laughs> There's some backroom shits going on in that bathroom. We're leaving. Oh, we're leaving. This is a really old McDonald's. They don't have like a self-serve thing. Old fashioned garbage can, old fashioned seats. The McDonald's near me doesn't even have nice seating anymore. Like it used to have nice seating. Now it's like the ugliest, crappiest sit like sitting ever. Where it feels like they're just trying to get you in and out as quick as they can, and it really sucks. <laughs> Cause when I was in school, I used to go down there sometimes just for fun and sit with friends. Like we'd buy stuff and sit for a while. Cause there's not much to do, and 
This sucks. Now it's like not. Okay, wait, wait. We have to inspect the toys. Okay, okay, chat. With your Happy Meal, we have a choice between Barbie and Hot Wheels. <laughs> Be really careful and make the right choice. Hello, Night Ray. We're driving in a McDonald's. It's a new drive through You just drive through the store. You just drive the bus straight through the door. <laughs> so, oh, she don't can. So, here's the thing. This is actually kind of a hard decision because if you get a Barbie, you can mod it. You can mod it. You can rip the hair out and make your own hair with like clay or whatever, and you can make your own clothes, and you can make a doll of your Oshi out of a modified McDonald's Barbie. You can have a doll of your Oshi. But with the Hot Wheels, you can paint it, and you can have an Itasha. You can have, a, actually that's a good idea. I'm gonna write that down and maybe do that as a stream. <laughs> Just buy a fucking Hot Wheels and paint it. It's kind of a banger. I'll probably forget, but it's fine. Mm. One second. I'd want to paint it with nail polish though, and doing that in the box, the fumes might actually kill me. <laughs> mm. One second. So maybe, maybe I'll have to wait till I'm like traveling or something. That could be fun though. Uh, also, OJ, um, but yeah, it's hard to decide because both of those are good options. Also, Ronald is terrifying the fuck out of me right now. Okay! Um, you know what? We don't even need to order. We're just gonna take this Happy Meal. I don't know whose Happy Meal it is, but it's already paid for, and there's no one in this entire building, so it's mine now. <laughs> it's my Happy Meal! Mm hmm. This is totally fine and very legal. We can just sit on the truck. We can sit on this random person's truck in our bus, in our bus, and eat this Happy Meal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fry is gonna be soggy. Define soggy. We already ate them. Oh god, it's the police. Oh god, it's the police! We gotta leave. 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 I can't be seen here. I can't be seen here. I, 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 I we, we must go. We must go. We must go. Chad, we must leave. The time is now. Let's go to. Let's go to Limza. Let's go to Limza. Surely, surely nothing bad ever happens in Limsa. <laughs> this is fine. I stole the officer's happy meal. It was a trap. It was a setup. They were trying to lure me in with the happy meal and get me caught <laughs> for my, my bus crimes. <laughs> oh, it's it's fine. You know, just just don't don't worry about it too much. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm excited though. Um, I know that Final Fantasy 14 and 16, I think, are doing some announcements at PAX, right? Didn't PAX start today? I know that there's an estimated date now um, for the 16 collab. I think it's going to be in. Um, boy, let me quickly go back on the ship. Oh my god, wait, on the ship? Let me read the rules real fast. It's for RP! <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah! So, you, in other words, if you have VR, if you want to up your Final Fantasy XIV role playing to the next level, Limza awaits. <laughs> but for real! Also, you wanna know what you can do in this version of Limza that you can't do in the real Limza? Wait! You can run on the water. You can run on the water. Gone are the days of being tempted by this water. By the way, this is also a floating bus. This is also a boat. This is very safe and very okay. Gone are the days of admiring the water from afar. You can jump in with the pirate ships and the boats. You can just go right into the fucking ocean. <laughs> oh, Falcon Raider! Mm -mm. Cause you know, they don't let you use mounts in the city, so you can't just like fly into the, into the water, but in VR chat, you can. You can. <laughs> That's totally fine. Mm-hmm. 
But now there's one problem. How do I get back? How do I get out of the water? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, this is fine. We can explore from the depths, I guess. Find all the secrets we can't find in the actual cave. <laughs> Hello, Arachnus! Oh, cool, I can go under the rocks here. Nice! Oh, there's literally nothing. It's a dead end. Oh, wait, no, it's not! Please give me any, any sort of dock. I need to get out of here. <sighs> I need to get out of the water. Oh, fuck, thank you for three months. Are we on the magic school bus? Three months, you're beating you! You know, it's, 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 it's a very, very legit bus. Um, I'm driving it. I, I don't have a license, but I do have a bus. That's the most important part, right? It's not if you have a license, if you have a bus. Okay, we got out of the water. Can I can I get back to the to the town from this area? Can I go inside this? No. I don't think this is connected to anything. So I think I'm still trapped. <laughs> There's the aetherite. Unfortunately, I haven't touched it. So I can't use it to escape this hell water field. Oh, there's gotta be a way out somewhere. There's gotta be. Come on, let me up. If not, you know we can we can abandon ship quite literally and go somewhere else. <laughs> From Kmart to Limsa, yeah. My bus can go anywhere. I'm not limited by you know mortal means like actually having to drive places. I drive. I don't drive two places. That's the difference between me and the regular bus. I drive when we get to the place. I don't drive to the place. Because I don't have to. Because my bus is far superior. This is me. This bus was made with technology far beyond the understanding of mere mortals such as yourselves. So you guys can't understand. <laughs> oh, oh, no! <laughs> Even I can't, apparently. <laughs> We are forever, forever stuck. Because I decided to jump off the fucking bus. <laughs> or jump off the fucking dock. And now I don't think we can get back up. Well, you know, we got to see a whole new vision of Limsa. You want to take me to an amusement park? Wait, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Go to Disney World. <laughs> Let's go to Disney. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is fine. We can drive our bus through Disney World. We don't need a ticket if we keep driving because we're faster than the security. They can't stop us if we just keep driving through the park. <laughs> it's, it's very okay. Very okay. I think. <laughs> In theory, we won't get arrested because we can't get stopped because we are very fast. And exactly, the windows are tinted, so I mean, they won't even know who I am, I think, unless they're watching the stream. In which case, they're probably a employee, and they probably don't want to stop me anyway, unless they, they have some sort of plea to let me stream from jail. <laughs> but they probably don't, so they probably don't want to stop me anyway, you know? Mm -hmm. So, in, in theory, I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. How far? You're a police officer, but you're watching me. So you wouldn't turn me in, right? You would never, because you want to watch my streams, right? <laughs> you would never, you would never report, report me for bus crimes. Never. <laughs> mm -hmm. Security like toy soldiers because they end up on their boxes. Well, I, I feel like, um... For some reason, when I read that, I just thought of that, that one movie that I don't remember the name of with the toy soldier, but then he's real. That's a really old one. I like how we are on the bus with people. They almost look like they're straight out of Kingdom Hearts. Just like Disney cosplayers. <laughs> I'm like an older one. You things to know. Let me double check. Okay, they just said turn off the sound if you're copywriting, which is fine. Or er, turn off the sound for copyright, which is fine. Cause I'm not even I'm not even capturing the sound. Unfortunately, it looks like it's nighttime. I don't know. I don't think we can change that. So we'll have to just wait. Uh, 
real time lights from fireworks? <laughs> we guys, we get to hang out together at Disney. <sighs> I hope to God I'm not in the public world right now after I teleport. <laughs> This would be so bad if I am. Anyway, it's fine. We can go up to the castle. I know there's actually rides and stuff here too. Um, some of them actually work. But what if I give you a red super chat? Oh, thank you, Jason! I would, I would thank you. <laughs> and then you'd cry because all your money belongs to me. Oh my God, it's the, it's the Mickey statue. I'm still curious about the, um, about the theory, the theory. Watching Pantheon makes me even more curious. The brain theory. If he's really dead or if his brain's frozen somewhere. <laughs> Sadly, you cannot because your book gets all good. Don't do it then. Save your money. You gotta get that food. <gasps> oh, I know. <laughs> Let's go in the castle. <laughs> Unless they locked it off. I thought I could go in there before. <laughs> Maybe not. Damn it. Oh wait, maybe you can use this to go inside it. Oh, let's reset the fireworks. Okay. If you want to like restart them or whatever, I guess. Oh, just in can! Oh my god, they have some food left. There's no staff, but we can, you know, take some whatever this is. I don't actually know. I'm gonna abandon it. It's, it's too yucky looking. Uh, some popcorn. Have any of you guys actually been to, um... Have any of you guys actually been to- Oh, so you can, you can just block Justin. I'm pretty sure they're just in troll spamming. Um, have you guys ever been to Disney? I've been once when I was very, very young. Be oh my god, they have the cute little headbands that you can wear! I think- No, I've been- I've been twice. Because I went to Disney Sea with some friends in Japan. I forgot about that. Mm -mm -mm. Other than that, I only went, um, once because I had a family thing where we suddenly got some money that we weren't expecting and we were able to go because it had to be spent on something for leisure. We couldn't use it for anything else. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, one second. Um, I got like a fraud alert on my credit card and I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck. if it's legit or if that's even fake, hold on. Uh, hmm. There's no link or anything, I'm just trying to... I'll have to look at it again um, after stream because I don't know what the fuck... I, I, I want to make sure I'm in a state of mind where I can look at that fully and make sure it is or isn't a scam. <laughs> It won't change the, if it's like a couple of hours. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's no links in it. It just says to reply if it's fraud or not. So I'm probably just gonna go directly on my account and see if there was even like any interactions or anything. But that'll take a while. So I don't really want to do it right now. It says the charge was like a really small amount too, which is really weird. And makes me feel more like it's probably someone trying to somehow scam me in a way I'm not familiar with. Uh uh. Mm -mm. I think my favorite part about places like Disney isn't even the rides. I think my favorite part is honestly just the atmosphere of like so many happy people and all the lights and all of the everything. <laughs> Hello, Michaela! I already crashed the bus lots. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I've been doing a great job of crashing it. <laughs> Also, play asleep if you need to. If you if you don't have a frying pan, I can also hit you with the boss. If you need to pass out.
out sooner, I can, I can, I can, I can drive into you. <laughs> you'll probably, you'll probably fall asleep. You won't die, I promise. I've never killed anyone. I've never killed anyone with the bus, so it's fine. It works, all right! This is for you, this is for you. Imagine that horror VR thing, that's you. Bam! You are now sleeping. You are already asleep. Also, I just noticed the creepy train is floating. This is terrifying. This is like fever dream nightmare fuel Disney. I don't know how to set it to daytime, so it doesn't feel very Disney, sadly. <gasps> Have a good one, you too! Thank you! Hmm. Try and think. Where else can we go? Where else can the bus go? I wanted to try to find inside of a body, like the cells and stuff, like Magic School Bus style. But I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find it, sadly. Hmm. Let me take a break and look at the fireworks while I try to think. <laughs> I would say I could go to Akiba or something if those ones still existed, but I think they kind of don't. I'm trying to remember like what kind of chaotic places exist. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I'm gonna browse. I'm gonna browse a little bit. And while I browse, bum bum, you can just look at the sky. <gasps> Um, let me see. Let me see. Where can I go? Oh my god, someone made the bar from, um... This could be cool. Oh my god, someone made the bar from Valhalla? Don't check that out. <laughs> Is there one for Times Square? Maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking of dreaming bigger though. I want to go to places only my bus can go. <laughs> uh -uh. Hmm. Let's see. That's a cool world. You've been there before? Nice. It probably doesn't have a lot that I can interact with right now. Yeah, it probably is like more of a drinking world. Also, there's an epilepsy warning here. Just a heads up. Mm. It looks like they actually like rebuilt the game and stuff. We could go to the Ghibli world. Even though I've been there a thousand times, it's always good and I'm always down for more. <laughs> oh, Nolan and Zach! Bartenders wanted. If you want to get a job and work at Valhalla for real, this is easy. I like how they actually got like the pixel art style and stuff. Oh my god, the rain. This rain. The vibes are immaculate. Oh, of course, they have to have a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Again with the the nightmare fuel window. Don't worry about it. You know she's just watching you to make sure that you haven't decided to leave the bus yet. You're not leaving the. You're not thinking of leaving the bus, right? Right? You're still down to drive around for a while, right? You're not. You're not planning on leaving the bus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Now that we're all on the same page. I'll go through the actual door. Employees only. My bus is now an employee. I'm now a bartender. I guess you can go in the other world. Um, oh my god, this actually is just the game, straight up. I can't play this while streaming. <laughs> One of the games the indie showcased from the other day was a fantasy bartender style game. Nice! I like those type of games, they're very cozy. It gotta be her, of course. I think I'm gonna be stuck as her for the rest of the stream now. Cause I'm too lazy to change avatars. I'll to add bartenders. Okay, this is like an actual game. This is too complicated. <laughs> Maybe I should leave this place. Never mind. <laughs> hmm. Where where can we go? I need something that's stupid basic. <laughs> uh, and then a world called Baldi's Basics shows up. And I'm like, is this listening to me? <laughs> hmm. Star Wars world. Let's see if there's any good. Wait. I never checked this one out. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, this is a fan world, so that's not it. I was looking for Kason's um Izekaya. Let's see. There's Kason fan worlds, but I can't find Kason's like actual world. Maybe it's not there anymore. How's oh, Alex? Thank you for 32 months. Un kill my mirror world is peak world. Is it just a mirror? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. It's a one kilobyte mirror. Oh god. Let's see. Mirror world in a one kilobyte file! What the fuck is this? Let's, let's go check out. I guys wanna see what a one kilobyte mirror looks like. <laughs> I guess we're gonna find out. Um Wow! Wow! That's it! That's the world! That's the entire world! <sighs> Hold on, I wanna put myself back to myself. Hold on. Um. This is it. What do you guys think? What would you what would you rate this world? What would you rate this world out of ten? <laughs> if you were driving on a bus and I brought you here, what would you rate this world? If uh, it's it's how I know if I'm being a good tour guide or not. A thousand out of ten. Nice. <laughs> An entire. Q <laughs> Five out of ten needs more pants. What do you mean? Pants don't exist. What are pants? What are pants? <laughs> Existential terror out of ten. That means it's working. That means it's working. I'll take that as a good sign. Uh huh. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be the existential terror. I wonder if they have the like. It's probably fine if I just search for worlds. Do they have to like? <laughs> oh god! I feel like that might be a spoiler. So I don't know if I should go to the end of Evangelion. Even all, all I know about the ending is the imagery, so I probably shouldn't go there. <laughs> I was like, what if they have an end of oh, end of Evangelion ending? But they do. <laughs> Murder is fun, but I don't have any people to kill, so that doesn't really work. And I don't think I have time to get people to kill because I don't want to go too much longer. <laughs> um, mm. Mm -mm. It may be 20 years old, but that doesn't mean there's going to be new people who haven't seen it yet, you know? Mm. I haven't seen it yet! Mm. Um, let me see. Mm. Where can we go? Uh, I'll see if Akiba still exists. Ooh! I think it does. I think I was gonna look for Hollow Live Worlds too. I'll just try checking out whatever version of Akiba exists right now, and then we can maybe go to um check out any of the Hollow Live Worlds. I think there's a number of them. Mm -mm -mm. I could go to my room, but I feel like I do that every stream, so I don't really have to go there on the bus. <laughs> also, a reminder to you guys as well. I gotta make it work because apparently I messed up. Um getting it public, I guess, but my room that I stream in regularly, you can actually go there in VR and you can watch stuff on my screen and everything. Mm -hmm. That's true, I haven't seen Goose Ghostbusters. <laughs> my VR chat connection timed out! What the fuck? All right, hold on. You're gonna kick me out of VR chat? Don't make me put YouTube, don't make me put YouTube documentaries on in the background. <laughs> I will. I can and I will, so don't make me do it. <laughs> I need to drive around. The original plan was to pull up um, YouTube videos, but then I decided not to. I don't know what this is. This is not Akiba. We're gonna not do that anyway. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. I wanna go to some of the Sanrio worlds, but after one was a little more dangerous than I thought. We can't do that. Um, oh, there's some kind of aquariums. Oh, wait, Holly's gonna search for Hollow Life. <laughs> hmm. Hollow Life Meat! Wait! Hollow Life Meat NYC. I never checked it out. Let's go check out the Hollow Life Meat area. That was for Hollow Life NYC. Mm -hmm. You can't see anything. I know! <laughs> I know! That's on purpose! <laughs> While I'm browsing,
thing. I figured if I oh I, I opened one up and it was danger, so it was, I was good that I had it blocked. <laughs> Hello, party pants. What a name, dang. I mean, I guess for you it's okay if you wear pants. It probably helps to like you know remove the smell of it, <laughs> so other people don't have to smell it. Oh, this is actually really cute. I kind of regret not checking it out sooner. MVR. I really wanted to check out some of the Hollow Fest stuff, but I think instead of using VR chat this time, didn't they use Hollow Earth? Mm. Have any of you guys used Hollow Earth? What's it like? I was wondering if it's any good. Mm -mm -mm. I've been curious about it. I like how you can actually click the online store and like check out the stuff for real too that they have here. <laughs> they have, oh man, I really like the Mori PC. You know, I already have a PC though. The Why is the Nikkei PC? Why? Why is the Nikkei PC in the Hollow Live me? I'm not complaining. Because, I mean, it's a nice PC, but. Why? And the Persona one? Okay, I have to say though, if I get up any one of these PCs, I think I would like the Persona one the most. I still haven't been able to get around to playing Persona, but I know I know I would love it. Like it's not even a question. I know I would love it. <sighs> can you actually sit in like the beach chairs and stuff? Oh my god, you can't. The Hollow Live meat furniture is not actually usable. That's a crime. That is actually a crime. Who's my favorite character? I mean, I haven't played a Persona, so it's pretty hard to say. I don't actually know. <laughs> Just based on the few things I know about them, probably Fuka or um. Oh god, what's her name? Katava! The girls that start with F. <laughs> I really liked that shirt. I was tempted to get it, but I didn't. Mm -mm. I saw this shirt and it reminded me of something else. A uh, great pretender. Kind of like the vibes of it. I couldn't remember for a second what it reminded me of. <laughs> I just knew it reminded me of something. Mm -mm. That's really cute too. I like the art style. It really suits her design a lot. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. I still really admire Ollie because you know, there's a lot of really cool people of all sizes in the industry. And one thing that I always kind of want to maintain is, you know, giving people a chance no matter what, like not not judging people based on their clout or whatever, but judging people for what they make and how, how cool they are. And I really feel like out of everyone in the community, all of the, despite being one of the biggest, is literally one of the most down to earth people. And I really admire that. I really respect her a lot. Mm -hmm. I have seen, I have seen the Black Swan Dance animated short. I got a little flustered watching it. <laughs> Uh, and it's just like I think this is most. This world is mostly just like I think it was a place for people to hang out on the beach while watching some of the like meet and greet stuff online, right? Mm -mm. I don't think they directly came into the world themselves to interact, though, which would have been really cool. But I understand also why they maybe didn't. I think, didn't Hololive do some meet and greets at conventions, or was it someone else? Where like, you could literally um, meet them in VR, like you put on a headset and, and then you don't, they're on the other end of the headset. Oh. Cause I feel like that is the peak way, the peak way to do um, like meet and greets. Instead of just on a screen, like you put on a headset and then it's like you're in the same room with your VTuber, but everyone's perfectly safe on both sides. I think that's like the best way to do meet and greets, honestly. Um, I feel like if I ever did a meet and greet at a convention, like at a booth, that's probably what I would want. To have like a quest or something that anyone can borrow. And then you can just literally see me in VR on the other side. Like it's scarier. But I think, one, it would be safer for me. Two, well, it'd be more fun for me rather. So I'm not just like on the screen and you know, you guys can't really interact with me. But it's also safer for you guys. Because then I see you as an avatar. Because you know, it can go both ways. Some people might want to participate in a meet and greet, but they don't want me to see their face. And that's perfectly understandable. Mm -hmm. So you know, it goes both ways to make everyone really safe and comfortable. And I think it'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So many indies have a story of that one time Ollie was in their tent, me too! <laughs> it, was, it was really fun though. It was a really nice surprise. Mm -hmm. But I just, I really respect how, how she gives everyone a chance and 
I think genuinely probably a lot more do as well. Um, I've only really interacted with, um, no, that's, I've interacted, one, one of them I've never streamed with, um, but I, I talked to a few times, um, someone else, um, under, under Hollow as well, and they were also really, really nice. Um, I've only really interacted with a couple talents, and they're always, like, some of the most genuine, nicest people, like, I swear, I swear, they were literally the sweetest. I, I have a lot of respect. Um, just, I, I genuinely feel like covers are a really good judge of character for getting a lot of people who are really passionate, really enjoy what they do, and are just genuinely good people. And it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. And even then, like, I, I'm really grateful that the ones I've interacted with interact with me, but even if they didn't, like, I would still respect them from afar. <laughs> I just really respect what a lot of them do. Especially, speaking of respect, you want to know which member I'm pretty sure is, like, number... Not number one, because I respect a lot of them quite a bit, but pretty high up there on the list of people that I respect in general in the entire VTuber community, Maureen. Maureen. <laughs> I admire what she does so much. Her passion, her drive, how she's able to, like, make such cool projects. She's even admitted, like, making music videos and stuff. Like, she spends a lot of money on them. She's not going to necessarily earn that back, but it doesn't matter because she can afford to do it. She wants to make something that she's truly passionate and proud about, and that's something I resonate with a lot. Like, for me, making music and stuff, I don't care so much about how it performs, but I really care about making something that I enjoy and that I feel like other people will enjoy, and that just means a lot to me that I can put my whole soul into. So I really admire her approach to content, I guess, is a good way to put it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And also her voice is just really hot. <laughs> you can't, you can't tell me I'm wrong. You can't tell me I'm wrong. Hi, Maggie Lennon Fred. She is, Ma Marina is just like a gem. She is a gem. She's as popular as she is for a reason. She's a true gem. I, I love her. <laughs> I don't think there's ever a chance you'd ever notice me, but like, I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm happy, I'm happy to admire from afar. Mm. And sometimes, sometimes it's cool too. Like, I don't even know if I'd want like, all, my, all of my Oshis to notice me. Sometimes it's kind of nice having that distance too, because then you can just admire. You don't, you don't feel any pressure. You don't have to impress them or anything. It's just like, I can admire and, and talk to everyone else who admires, <laughs> you know? Mm-mm. That would have been nice to buy. I wonder how many of these are still for sale, because I'd probably like some of them. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hello, Annie! I don't really know. I don't really interact with people that much. I guess what I, what I look for in people in general is just, like, I really do value how genuine people are more than anything. Mm -mm. I like people who are, are like passionate about stuff. Genuine, genuine, like not two-faced, like genuine, kind of treat everyone the same. Um, well, I say treat everyone the same, but of course there's gonna be assholes who deserve to be told off and shit, but you, you know what I mean, giving everyone a fair chance and really passionate about something. Those are the type of people I like to talk to. As, I'm sorry, I'm just admiring how cute Ollie is in that outfit. <laughs> Official Hall Live merch probably isn't up anymore. Yeah, it's probably sold out. Long sold out. I really like this outfit on Iris, too. I really admire Iris a lot, too. She's gone through a lot of challenges in her career, but she's still she's still doing so amazing. And she's also really unique. Her personality is really fun. I think I can say that about any, any Holo talent, though. Their personalities are always so fun and vibrant. They feel very genuine and passionate. That's probably why I really admire a lot of them. Mm-mm-mm. Like, yeah, solo wave would be so hard. Imagine the pressure. But she really did amazing, and she's thriving. Mm -mm -mm. You know what I really wish, too? I've said this a lot of times, and I'll say it again and again and again, because I still believe it. I really, really hope, and it's, it's a little bit more now because of Armas. Um, the Armas debuts have been, like, just wild. <laughs> And everyone really, really has given Hollow Stars another chance, I think, because of them. Um, I really want the Hollow Stars to get more attention in general because they're genuinely as entertaining as the girls. They are amazing. And I feel like they're so underlooked for what they have to offer. 
I'm like, I get it, because cute girls. I get it, I get it. Cute girls are always very fun to look at. <laughs> but I still, oh my god, best girls! Speaking of cute, speaking of cute girls. I got them too shy, I can't go up. <laughs> I, I genuinely, I hope that someday the Hollow Stars are able to shine on like, an equal footing with all of the Hollow Live girls because they have so much to offer and I'm tired of them being like overlooked. They're just so good. Also, look, it, it is it is the best girl. The best girl. Okay, okay, what do you do? What do you do if I'm driving a bus and you see look out the window and you see that? <laughs> and then then you know. You know that it is it is a good trip. It is a good trip. You you have got on the right bus. <laughs> I gotta come back here in VR and like take photos with the Stambies and take photos with Yago. <laughs> mm. I think it's really fun they included a cutout of him. Uh -huh. I remember at Anime Expo, you know Tobin? Um, the guy that makes like all of the giant cutouts and makes like uh, tons and tons and tons of cutouts. Um. I'm pretty sure it was him that made it. There's like a gigantic Yago called out head at Anime Expo. It was pretty wild. It was like, we're talking like, I think it had to be outside only because it would have been like Florida ceiling. <laughs> it's just a giant. Can you pick it up? I don't think you can pick it up. I am like, I am poking this man and I cannot pick him up. Oh God. Oh God, the egg. <laughs> you get the weird chin. I can't remember who it was. Speaking of Hollow Stars, I saw on Twitter there was somebody that was going around to all the Hollow Star cutouts and taking like this angle photos, like 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 this angle <laughs> photos of all only the Hollow Stars of the Hollow Stars cutouts and putting them online. Just like what? I wonder what the staff thought when they would have just saw somebody like taking weird low angle photos of not even the whole body is just the face <laughs> also true another best girl option is Aton. honestly honestly let's be real her design is so peak her design is so peak like she doesn't have time to stream all the time obviously because she's really busy like helping manage talents and stuff but if she was a full-time talent I genuinely think she might like skyrocket in popularity because her design and just her personality too, it's really fascinating to hear everything behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I I feel like people would absolutely sin for her. We need more H on merch. <laughs> we need more H on everything. Wait, are these kind of like 3D cutouts? No, okay, this one. I don't know. I thought I saw the arm like protruding a bit and I was like, <laughs> Bell's 3D, but I was I was so wrong. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, that's where the live stream was playing, I think. And it's still kind of here. Like, you can go. I don't know if you can use that and put in any video you want and just watch it. You probably can. Uh-uh. That's the nice thing about worlds like this. You can kind of just, like, customize them a bit and do whatever you want with them, which is kind of fun. She just had some merch release. Yeah, I think there was some. I know normally she doesn't get merch when they have, like, sets and stuff, but it'd be nice to have more. Oh, you can actually step in the water. I can see down below my feet are in it. My feet are in it. I gotta come back in VR and go in the water. It'd be nice. I love worlds with water. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of water, let's go to a good one. Mm -hmm. Let's go to one of my favorites, if I can find it. Um, It's been a while, so I don't know if it still exists. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on. I mean, a typo. Hold on. Hmm. It's a really nice aquarium that I love to bits, but I can't remember the name of it. Hmm. There's a lot of good aquariums. I'm like going through my world's list, trying to find like good ones that I see. Oh wait, let's go. <laughs> Why I saved this one, I don't know. You guys want to see a really bad bathroom? It's somebody's actual bathroom that was 3D scanned. It's called my IRL bathroom. <laughs> so I just literally 3D scanned their fucking bathroom. <laughs> it's so broken. It's so broken. 
Because the AI that was scanning it couldn't get it right. <laughs> Maybe... <gasps> Chat! Maybe that's what I can do! Whenever I eventually reach 100k, instead of a foot reveal, or a face reveal, or any of the shit regular people offer, what if? What if? Bathroom reveal. 3D scan bathroom. <laughs> In VR chat. <laughs> or. Or. Counter offer. Counter offer. 3D scan streaming space. You guys can experience the claustrophobia of existing in the box. <laughs> the VR chat world probably wouldn't even fit some avatars. <laughs> I don't even know if I could scan it with how small it is, but I could try. <laughs> I feel like that would be so broken. We're not we're not even close though. I don't I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna reach hundred K. But if we did, if we did, what if I 3D or somehow 3D scan the box? I do have the gen of iPad that's capable of doing it and the gen of phone that's capable of doing it. <laughs> so it's in theory very possible. <laughs> yeah, with the tiny desk that can't fit the full-size mouse pad. Actually, I don't even have a mouse pad at all, as you can hear. But it's clacking on wood. <laughs> you can see how disorganized I am. Um, yeah. <laughs> Are you giving up on Pam feet? No! <gasps> I'm not Pippa! You don't get feet. That's a million. Hundreds too cheap. You gotta give me a million if you want feet. <laughs> <laughs> You're for sure to do 100k? I don't think so. I don't think so. I've been growing pretty slow. You know, we, we lucked out for like a bit there. We had that, um, we had that, that cat girl stream that went kind of wild. <laughs> I've, I've also been, um, I've, I've been growing really slow lately, so, you know, I, I can't do more than I'm already doing. I do have some secret plans, though. I have some secret plans. I'm taking on a new type of content for uploaded videos um, that's turning out to be really cool. I don't know what the edits are going to look like, but recording it has been really interesting. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see. I, I might, um... I, I, I can't say anything yet. Maybe I can announce a bit more about it next week. Mm -mm -mm. Um, but I'm probably not gonna have any other types of video uploads for quite a while other than that to test how it goes. Um, for streams, I'll probably still do like whatever whatever I want. <laughs> uh, um, elbow reveal plan. I can't do that. I can't do that because I feel like there's probably people out there with like, I don't know, elbow fetishes or something. <laughs> Although I'm sure there's, actually no, I know. I know there's people with hand fetishes and I have shown my hands, so maybe it's not that bad. <laughs> I haven't done a hand cam um, members drawing stream in a long time. I need to, I need to get caught up on some stuff so I can do more member drawings. I probably wanna do them off stream to catch up though. I've been like, I'm not gonna lie, um, this week I've been really fucking overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> working on some stuff. That's uh, that's why we get the bus stream. This this is the state of my brain right now. I needed a break from braining, so I was like, we get the bus stream, <laughs> which is yeah, whatever you call this. <laughs> that's true. If it exists, there's a fetish for it. That that's true. That is so true. Also, you want to see the bathroom? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Oh, baby, that is plain reveal. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of exam am I gonna have to do to get that? <laughs> this is a 3D scanned bathroom. It looks like some AI art nightmare fuel. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's the paper towel. It, it, it kind of looks like it's already been used and then just put back to dry. <laughs> there, there's something plugged in. I'm not quite sure what. There, there's something plugged in. <laughs> Um, that's the mirror. You can see me in it, kind of. Um, it's a very jagged, broken mirror. 
I kind of question if the person who scanned this and said it's the real bathroom is okay. I'm wondering what kind of like nightmare world they're living in. Look at look at the look at the bottles. This is this is not what bottles should look like. not what a sink should look like. It's all melty. This is literally like the 3D equivalent to AI art. I don't know how to explain it. Whenever I see AI art and it's like really bad and, and it's like so unca uncanny where it's like both realistic and just awful. This is like it. This is it. Like look at this weird indoor garden in the bathroom. I mean I kind of like it but who thinks they have an indoor garden like with actual dirt and shit in their bathroom? <laughs> Looks like a dream. Yeah, it's kind of how I imagine dreams to be. In my dreams, I can't tell and they feel more real. Um, That's the shower curtain and the shower wall. Yep. Um, the shower is really filthy and there's weird red stains on the bottom. Um, I don't know if murders might have happened in this shower. There's also holes in it. So, you know, um, people from outside can, if they have drones, they can, you know, see from the sky. So you might not want to shower in this bathroom. <laughs> Someone 3D scanned their whole house over a couple months and it looked great. This is peak. <laughs> no. This is peak. This is peak. This is all I want. I don't want some free, hyper realistic 3D scan. I want the melty shit. It's more funny that way. I love how there's just a bird. There's straight up a bird. You guys see the bird? It's like a pigeon. And there. The most beautiful part of all, the highlight, the toilet. You can sit on it. Even though, um, if you pee, if you pee in this toilet, um, the bowl is kind of like missing. The pee is just gonna go everywhere, so I don't really recommend using. <laughs> hmm. You can sit on it though. You can sit on it. It's great. This is peak VR chat world. Peak, absolute peak. <laughs> You can't tell me I'm wrong. You can't tell me I'm wrong. This is the best world in VR chat history. <laughs> Where else can we go? My entire brain. Oh yeah, I was trying to find, I was looking through my world to try to find the aquarium. And then I got distracted because I found the 3D bathroom. Hmm. 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 Let me see. There's the Beat Saber, which is great. Happy Dog Park! All right, maybe we should go to, maybe we should go to the dog park. <sighs> Briefly, dog park is a great place to be. Mm -hmm. Deep Sea Aquarium, was that the good one? I think Deep Sea Aquarium might be a good one. Dog Park is great, but it's probably not great for the boss. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dog Park is peak being actual in VR. Yeah! You can go and like pet lots of dogs and stuff. It's really cute! Mm -hmm. Dog, I think my two favorite worlds ever are the Dog Park and the Duck Pond. Mm -mm -mm. Just getting to hang out with all the ducks and all the dogs. That's the content I signed up for. This is it. I thought it was Deep Sea Aquarium. Oh wait, it is, yeah. Hold on. Okay. We're gonna go explore an aquarium, guys. Hold on. Um, yeah. I just need to leave this place. Um. How do I get out of the room? Oh, oh aquarium. Bam! <gasps> okay! This is one of my favorite worlds of all time. Um, it's like a tunnel where you can kind of go around. It's really lovely in VR. It's really nice if you're listening to like Ghibli music or some chill stuff too. You can drive through and you can visit all the fish and turtles. It's really relaxing. I love it. Yeah, it's a good chill world. Like every time, Every time I, I'm having like a bad day, if I have time to turn on VR, I like to go here and just relax. It's very calming. Um, and I really find it helps with anxiety and stuff too. If you just need 
something to like help you calm down. This place is pretty good. Um, there's also another trick to it that's really nice. It does look really cool, yeah. This one feels really surreal if you visit it in VR. I don't know how to explain it if you've never experienced it, but it, it literally feels like going to an aquarium. And I feel like that'd be really cool to have like AR aquariums in the future, if that's something we can have. Um, so the trick for this aquarium is this. Oh look, the monster hunter! You can actually, um, you can actually like go and into the water, you can swim. You can literally go right with the fish and the whales and stuff. And it's so nice in VR because you just, you get to feel like you're actually swimming. Oh God, that is eyeballs, I don't like that. <laughs> you get to swim with all the creatures that you could like never ever go near IRL. It's, it's truly a really nice experience. And I think out of all the time I've used VR, this is my favorite place to go. It's just, what's it called? I'll have to look at it again when I leave it so you guys know what to look for. Halloween! We're driving underwater. Yeah! That's totally safe. Don't worry about it. The bus is insulated, I think. <laughs> just don't open the window! <laughs> It'd be really nice to have like AR aquariums in the future so that we can have something similar where like, um, you go into a real aquarium per se. Oh. Uh, Ooh, uh, ah, I'm tired, you can tell. <laughs> It'd be really cool, um, like if you go to an aquarium in real life, but I'm gonna use Hololive as an example, okay? Because we know Hololive has anime girls and I need an example for anime girls right now. <laughs> Say you go to an aquarium IRL and they have another collab with like um, Gura or whatever, but it's like an AR collab, right? With some sort of hologram. So not only, can you go to the aquarium and see all the like real fish? But if you put on like glasses and a headset, you can have like a hologram of Gura like talk to you and walk around with you and show you the aquarium. And you can have like, I don't know, mermaid versions of some of the girls like swimming around with the fish that you can see as long as you have the glasses on. But then they can still have like the real version for people who don't want all of the like extra bullshit, of course. <laughs> Like, a real version where you can only see reality, or you can have the AR, like, version if you want to go in and have the full experience. Oh, no, RNC! Mm -mm. I think it'd be really, really nice. I real I'm really a big fan of augmented reality when it's done right. I feel like it's more valuable than VR, even, because there's, like, a bit of reality still there. Like, I remember one time, I did a climbing wall, and I, I got very badly injured, so no more climbing walls for Pam, but I did a climbing wall, and it was like a video game climbing wall, right? <sighs> so like you had to climb up and down the wall and stuff and like dodge enemies. Like you couldn't have your foot or your arm um, on a thing that was an enemy or if it melted by lava, you couldn't use it. How'd you get injured? I, I, I fell off the wall. There were no harnesses. <laughs> And when I say fell off the wall, it's while I was reaching, but I didn't fall backwards. I fell straight down, which meant my entire hand skidded on everything on the way down. The middle of my palm didn't really have a lot of skin anymore by the time I hit the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I have issues with my shoulder. And basically, in my shoulder, um, while I, I knew this happened with my shoulder, so I shouldn't have tried it in the first place. I was being an idiot. I decided to try the climbing wall despite knowing that my shoulder sometimes comes out of the socket. And guess what it did? When I had both my feet, I was trying to make a really big jump. So I had only one hand supporting me while I made the jump. My, my legs were both off and my other arm was off and it was reaching. So my only arm supporting me came out of the socket and I was just... <laughs> I, I, yeah, hypermobile, yeah! I, uh, I, I, that was my bad. I should not have gotten on that wall. Because I, I knew I shouldn't do stuff like that. I was being an idiot. <laughs> Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Also, love reverses. It's like, it's, it's, you know, sometimes. Sometimes it's good to know your limits and work within your limits. And that day, I was not doing a good job of that. <laughs> 
Mm. Let me double check what this world is called for anyone who might want to see it. Um, Deep Sea Aquarium. If you search that, you should find it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have shoulder dimples? Um, I think so. I can, all, all I can offer you is this. It's gonna be really awful. You're gonna get some ASMR for a sec. Okay, this is my shoulder. I'll turn the mic down after. This is my shoulder. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> that crackling is just me spinning in a circle like a normal person would. Which is why, um, with with the uppercut and stuff in um, Miku, I struggled a bit because it actually hurt like hell. <laughs> I mean, I have to be really careful when I rotate my shoulder and stuff. It's not good. <laughs> oh, that's, I have to. I have to be like really, really careful with that shit. Mm -mm -mm. Happy dog park looks really cute, but I don't think I'd be good for the boss. Uh, maybe don't do the uppercuts. I do them differently. I don't actually rotate my arm when I do them. I, I kind of rotate, but it's more like um, I, I lock it in position and rotate my abs to compensate. <laughs> Which is why my abs hurt so bad the next day. <laughs> uh, hello, guys, this I found a way to do it safely, but it took a long time. At first, it really hurt. Um, I have to keep experimenting. I'm not gonna keep doing it in a way that hurts. Mm -mm -mm. Cause that's just stupid. Injuring yourself on purpose is always like really stupid. It's fine if you're like trying to figure out what's okay to do, but once you figure out something is or isn't, you should always listen to your body and not be a moron. Mm -mm. Hello, Chris King Gamer. Uh, let's go to the island of Flora. I don't think we'll go to too many more worlds though because I'm still really tired from such a busy week. Um, I will be playing Among Us on Reza Forte's channel though. I can't raid her, I don't think, because she's only live on Twitch. Um, and I'm only on YouTube right now. But I will be there, um... I'll be there for some Among Us this evening. And then I've got some more off-stream stuff to do. But tomorrow I'm doing Final Fantasy XIV, um, the Bard Quest. I don't know if we're gonna finish them or not. And then I will um, do the next Nikkei chapter. It's a pretty chill week, um, at least for live content, because I've been so busy. <laughs> Let's drive through some nice chill flowers. And then maybe we can go to the back rooms. <laughs> this, is, this is to you know calm down before we go to the back rooms. I'm pretty sure if we drive a bus through the flowers, we might ruin the garden, but you know, it's fine. This one's really nice in VR as well. I really enjoy walking through this one. It's beautiful. I can't hear your own feelings. I'm really good at it, actually. <laughs> Can other people hurt me? It's hard. I don't get hurt by other people very often. I always get hurt by myself. <laughs> ask, ask anyone with anxiety. They're really fucking good at hurting themselves. <laughs> It's, it's like my it's my special skill, really. Uh, I like how these kind of open ruins. I was just wondering what kind of flowers these particular ones are based on. I can never figure it out. They almost look like really scuffed 3D flowers, too. Mm -mm -mm. This is where Marine drowned in. I think so. I think so. I'm just looking at my old world. I haven't been able to play much in so long. <laughs> It's been so hard to find time. I want to use it more. I got a dock even to use it more and then things have just been so chaotic, man. Ugh. IRL has been chaos! Dog finally settled down and ever since I've been looking after, you know, at, at the warehouse I, I, I have sometimes, I gotta go and instead of doing stuff I gotta go and take care of, Pam parents have been very sick. <laughs> and now today, Pam grandma is very sick, so I'm just sitting here with my phone in case anyone needs me to go and leave and help them. So if that happens, stream's over. Bye. <laughs> it's been a struggle. Uh -uh. But it's not, it, it's getting, well, most of them are getting better. And the others are getting worse at least. So it's just, it is what it is, you know. I think this world might be a little bit broken. I remember the colors and stuff looking better last time I was here. I don't remember like the ground just being like plain. Mm -mm. Maybe he's not rendering some stuff properly. 
I have some sort of like potato setting on maybe, which is probably good considering my PC lately has been a butt. So honestly, oh, look at the water, it's so beautiful. At least they're recovering. Well, one of them doesn't seem to be, that's kind of the problem. I went back to the doctor today though, and uh, the doctor doesn't really know what to make of it, basically. <laughs> they're just like, you know, you're not getting worse, at least keep resting. We were like, yay. <laughs> That's kind of all you can really do. Oh, I'm drowning. I guess it's my turn to drown now. Unless I can get in the boat. Yeah. That's fine. We have the bus boat. Hmm. This is an amazing world. Yeah, it's quite nice. I really like this one. Um, I want to go... We have a little bit longer. So I wonder how, how long we can survive. What about a challenge? What do you mean, Snowball and Bunny? I drove us inside Kmart. How many people can say they've driven through Kmart? I went to drive through at McDonald's. I literally drove in the door, got a Happy Meal, and drove out. What do you mean, bad driver? <laughs> I am the most skilled driver, thank you. Um, let me see. Um... Let's find a good one. It said go through! The internet is like dying. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay! I remember um, some people being extremely uncomfortable with this world, so I've always wanted to check it out. <laughs> It's time. It's time for the end. Because I, I was worried I'd get too addicted to this one. <gasps> it is time! We're gonna drive. We're gonna do a special bus tour of the back room. <laughs> um, this is fine. This is so fine. You know, um... I don't think I have a flashlight or anything really. Well, so we're gonna have to be extra careful. Where are you going? I don't know! I don't know! I'm just trying not to die, okay? <laughs> Imagine. I really wanna play the back rooms game that I was doing on stream before, but like in VR. I feel like that'd be so fun. This is like ball thing. Is it moving? It doesn't seem to be able to kill me. Is it like a monster or is it like a dead body? Oh, it's a chair! You guys can't see it because it's so dark. It's just a random office chair. Mm -hmm. What does this do? Oh, it turns the light. Oh. I got so fucking jump scared by the mirror. <laughs> I'll leave that on. And then I'll know where the mirror is. Man. Oh god. I don't know if you can actually like navigate this. I don't know if it's a game or if it's just like straight up. You can explore it and there's nothing bad but it scares you. <laughs> Although I think that looks different now, so I think we're making some progress in the back rooms. Mm -mm. This is fine, right? This is fine, right? Um reach your hand into the darkness. Trust and read the button in the second mirror room. Thank you, Steve. Your sacrifice is not in vain. Where do I find the thing I'm supposed to reach for in the darkness? There's nothing to interact with. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> There's another. I think anytime you see this, it just turns on like a mirror. Mm -mm. This is fine. I don't know if it's the one Aka did. I don't actually know. Maybe it is. I just wanted to explore. Maybe there's a better one. I saw one where there's a bunch of people in it. Maybe I should grab that one. But like a new instance. <laughs> I heard there's some good back rooms in VR, but I've never found a good back rooms in VR. Mm -mm. I want one that's actually like a scary experience. Mm -mm. Let's try this one. Mm -mm. This one has like 30 people in it right now. This seems maybe promising. Mm. I think 
I saw that one, what I just did in someone else's stream? I think it was like Mouse and Yanners or something a long, long, long time ago. Um, let's see. Also, I can't say much, but you guys should keep an eye out for some cool announcements. Not just me, but um, in general. <laughs> um, because it's not related to anything. I don't know why the back rooms reminded me, but yeah. Mm. Oh, is he Snoopy? There, there's some stuffs in general. There's a lot of reasons why I've been kind of overwhelmed and busy. <laughs> this one, maybe, maybe. I'm not gonna read the rules. We just jump in. I've never seen a back rooms that have like this kind of design though. Ooh, comfy chairs. I wonder if this is just like a waiting area, or if this is the back rooms at some sort of office place. Just like the comfiest back rooms I think I've ever seen. It's not making me feel terrorized. It's making me feel very relaxed. Which is a feeling I never thought I'd get from anything that's a back room simulator. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't wait for the pen and back rooms collab. Yes! Back rooms at the warehouse. Oh, grab a drink to start. Let's, there we go. <laughs> we didn't even make it to the drink. Oh, God. Find the fire exit. Oh, God. Just going through the cubicle. <gasps> Man. I wonder if the reason back rooms is so scary for so many people is because where it feels like an office and so many people just hate working office jobs. It's like you're trying to just get through the workday, but the workday wants to fucking kill you. That would be so awful. Workdays, I feel like, for most people, are already bad enough without having existential crisis and monsters. Mm -mm. Let's see, I am driving! I'm doing a bus tour through the back rooms. And it all looks kind of like very exity. Oh. I don't know. I'm, I'm very hopeful looking at this particular spot with all the lights. I think I just went back to the beginning or something. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. That's what your life felt like. Man, I I really I really feel for people who have to do like nine to fives. Because I I I don't think I would be able to. Like I, I can't even sit still or focus on like one thing that long. I have to split my attention in so many areas or I get really frustrated. Well, that's just dark. There's nothing there. Using a 12 hour 7 to 7. Honestly, I'd probably, if I had to do something like a regular office job, I think I'd rather do 12 hours 4 days a week than 5 days a week. Because then at least you have more days off to kind of even it out. I'd probably prefer that. I like, I'm very much a binge person when it comes to like working and getting stuff done in general. I like to binge tasks and stuff. Whoa! Exit! Ayo, we got out of the first area. Ah. Okay. I, I don't know if that was a real fire exit, um, or it just maybe threw me into a new area. <laughs> I, I very much am someone who can get a lot of work done at once, but then I need more breaks because of it. So I'd rather do things for like very long hours. And after the very long hours, I'd rather have more me time, like in a row, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know if anyone else will understand this feeling. Um, but it's like, to me, it doesn't make a difference if I'm working like two hours or 12. It really doesn't. <laughs> it really doesn't make a difference if I'm working two hours or 12. If it's a work day, my entire mental energy is gone because the day is already dedicated to work. So like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me how long it is. What matters is if I work at all. So I would much rather have a few days where I do a fuck ton rather than like every day doing a little bit, if that makes sense. I know there's definitely people who prefer the opposite as well and would rather work every day in like small bits, but for me, it's very much the opposite. Because as soon as I engage work brain, I'm tired the rest of the day. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, I found another fire exit! Let's go! I am so...
so winning. I am winning the solo, the solo, um, back rooms. I'm doing amazing. It's funny how I'm doing better at the back rooms when I'm alone than every time I've ever tried playing with people who are supposed to help me. <laughs> I think, I think maybe I should just trust my own gut and just jump into it, you know? Throw myself into the back rooms. I don't know if the monsters here can actually kill you though. Like, there don't, one, there don't seem to be any puzzles. Two, that one monster I saw, it startled me, but it's not to be like chasing me. I don't even know if it can chase me. Maybe I was just meant to startle. I gotta say though, the back rooms game that I was playing, um, I don't know if we'll have time to get back to it or not, um, with Ali and Faye and Dreamy. I think that's my favorite back rooms game that I've ever seen or played. Other than the few levels that are just annoying, it's really fun. I love the variety. I love how unique a lot of the stuff is. It was really fun. Mm -hmm. Wonder what the back room smells like? Probably like moldy office. Like you know that fabric on the cubicles like you're seeing, but it's like really moldy. Like it never ever got clean. It was like back of the room, really dusty and nasty and damp. <laughs> Kind of like wet paper and stuff too, like when you have documents that just get all damp and they smell real bad. I think that's what it would smell like. Just overall, very disgusting. Mm -mm. Multiple 12 hour days in a row is really draining though. I mean, yes and no. I ha It's draining, don't get me wrong. I might have had something at one point, because you know, sometimes CEO might want to make extra money. I might have had a part-time something where I had that pattern, where it was like 12 days, um, many days in a row, and I found it easier still. Uh -uh -uh. Easier than when I had part-time, where it's like one day, and then you have a day off, and then like multiple days. It's like, I, I, I would much rather, I still would much rather binge it, because I don't get more tired. If it's 12 hours, I literally don't get more tired. Like I get the same amount of tired. If it's a small bit or a lot. So if I'm gonna get the same amount of tired, I'd rather make max money and do many hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't actually know if anything is gonna happen in this world. So we might have a very anticlimactic ending to this bus trip and just like end. <laughs> Cause I wanna make an omelet. I wanna make an omelet. Does the Ghibli world still exist? It, I think it, it hasn't any updates though. Probably be the same as all the other times I went, so I don't know what I could really show off. <laughs> as much as I love it. Mm -mm. I feel like there's not really any monsters in this one. It just gets bigger every time, maybe. I heard a weird sound just now though. No, I hear a sound! Maybe there are monsters. I died. I don't even know what killed me. <laughs> I just spun around in a circle. I don't even know what killed me! Maybe the monsters weren't rendering. Maybe they were invisible. Because I heard something, but I didn't see anything. Except for that one, that one time. Mm-mm. I was gonna make an omelet earlier, but I actually didn't. I ended up making noodles, like the um, sweet potato noodles. Oh, so that's a checkpoint. Wait, does that mean I'm trapped in this room? Did I not die? Did I somehow get teleported to a room I can't escape from? What if I climb on the table and try to jump through the ceiling? Well. We're here to protect you, lies. Well, I can't proceed from this room. I have somehow ended in an even scarier version of the back rooms, where it's in like a permanent waiting space with uncomfortable chairs and no water left. That is like the nightmare. <laughs> so I don't think we can accomplish anything else. The back rooms have an exit or a fire escape. This room has straight up nothing. You're just trapped forever in this room. There's straight up nothing in this room. <laughs> um, 
Um, please, pretty sure it's my music. No, it's my music. It was a gift. It was a gift from another creator. <laughs> it's not. It's not. I think it, I believe it's by Elsa. Yeah. It's um. It's it's not. It's <laughs> in the game. It would be funny though, for sure. Mm -mm -mm. Um. Hmm. I probably could stream another like. 30 minutes or so in terms of time. I just don't know if I have the brain to go another 30 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell by how little brain I had this stream. Just how dead I am. How about I give you a tour of the bus though real quick. You want a tour of the bus? Do you want to see how I've been sitting in the fucking bus this whole stream? You're gonna have to be ready for the most cursed shit you've ever seen. Okay, so I was too lazy to fit myself into the bus properly, as you can tell by my hands just like not connecting. Um. So I figured as long as I keep a frame where it looks good, that's all that matters, right? It doesn't matter if the whole thing looks good. It just matters if the frame that you get to see looks good, right, chat? Um, so there may be some issues. <laughs> um, you probably thought that my feet were on the gas and the pedals the whole stream, right? And that's how I was driving. Um, I might have used telepathy. I might have. Because I definitely wasn't using my feet. <laughs> <laughs> this is, um, this is how people drive buses, right? <laughs> this is. This is fine. <laughs> I am I am very normal. I am very normal. This is a perfectly fine way to drive the bus. Just imagine all the times I was driving through Kmart and driving over people and driving through walls. But now reimagine that and instead of a normal bus coming at them, they just get the bus with feet. <laughs> hanging out over there and uh, the VR chat is uh it's a window <laughs> um yeah we've actually not gone anywhere you know it's like the movie magic um when you have like a rotating screen by a car or like it's just a green screen and the car is not actually moving um not to break your immersion but the whole time we haven't actually gone anywhere <laughs> <laughs> it's just not, uh, you know, we were, we were gaming, we were gaming on the side, and I, I gave you guys a good bamboozle. I know it was so realistic that you thought we were really going somewhere, but um, it was a bamboozle. I do have a real bus though. See, look at my seats. Look at my seats. There's so many seats. You guys could totally sit on the bus with me. You're totally, it's totally real. Totally real bus. That's, that's not the only part that was real. The bus. <laughs> mm -mm. And then um, you have me just, you know, in the driver's seat. Just, just driving. And it, it looks, it looks a little more like I'm actually driving from this angle than from the front with the feet sticking out. <laughs> it's Fine. That's fine. I forgot we were in the back rooms and I got like a major, major jump scared by the room behind me. <laughs> ah, this is the only school bus you'd ever ride, good. Because you're never leaving. You guys are stuck here forever. You're never getting off the bus. Ah, it's your new home now. It's the bus of the back rooms. We're stuck in the in the back rooms forever that we're not actually in. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah. I don't have a brain left anymore. That was a stream. I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a bonus today because I haven't been able to stream much this week. <laughs> so I hope, I hope you enjoyed, um, whatever the fuck this was. <laughs> I was, um, something. <laughs> I wanted, I wanted to get some backgrounds on YouTube and play them and it would have been a bit more of a Zatsu with like inside of body and like random shit but I didn't have time to set it up um due to some as I said some IRL like emergencies and stuff today so it's been kind of a lot so I was like I want a no brain no brain stream how can I do this without any preparation and I just did <laughs> so, um yeah that's um that's the stream <laughs> Next week, Jurassic Park ride through. We can do more bus streams if, uh, for some reason you want more bus streams. We can have more field trips? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, Jur Jurassic Park. Sure. <laughs> oh man, we just realizing we could have gone to the Ace Attorney courtroom. Fuck. <laughs> Someday. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is, but you're welcome. You're welcome, I think. <laughs> uh, I have two streams tomorrow. Final Fantasy, as I said, and Nikkei. Uh, just my regular stuff to be comfy. Oh, Jeffrey! Unfortunately, you did come in time for me to start wrapping up. But if you want to check out more of my streams, please hit the subscribe button. And you can know next time I go live. Mm -mm. Um, I haven't done a short stream in a while, too, because I've been really busy, so I wanted to try to fit one in for people who prefer those. Um, I'm doing, I think, I, I don't know for sure yet, but I kind of want to do a solo karaoke in the bunny suit for around Easter next week. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't decided yet if that's going to be like a regular stream or if I might do shorts karaoke because I've never tried that and a lot of people do shorts karaoke. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what I decide. Uh, either way. Um, for now, for now, oh yeah, I have a collab later tonight, but I'm not streaming my POV. I'll share it on Discord and on Twitter, but I'm not sharing my POV. I'm just going to be joining for some Among Us. I'm going to be playing on my fucking phone, probably. <laughs> uh-uh. Um, yeah. It'll be a chill time. <laughs> I'm tired, so I'll probably be resting a lot of it while I'm playing. Whenever I'm dead, I'll just be resting. Uh-uh. And then I have... Also, the darkest, I have some, um... I have two more meetings today as well where I'm recording some videos. And then I have some more tomorrow as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me ran. Um, so yeah. I am... I am sleepy. I am sleepy. So, we are... We are... We are done for today. <laughs> I am so dead. I am so dead. <laughs> It'll be worth it, but I'm so dead. All right. Um. Yeah. Woo! Did I remember streaming this one? to see about fitting one in next week. I don't want to have a month without a member stream. I'll have to figure that out. Oh. Oh. I can't remember. My memory's so bad. I know I did one in the city recently, but I don't know if it was this one. Oh, wait. I feel like it might have been... Um, wait, but... Wait. I'm rubbing my eyes and eating. Mm, it might have been early March, actually. I'm not sure. I know I did a members VR chat. Mm -mm -mm. That I'm still playing Among Us, yeah. I think I have around two hours until Among Us, though. Um, which is good. Just so I can rest a bit. Mm -hmm. Get some food. I don't think I'll have a nap, but I can at least turn my brain off for a bit. Listen to some music. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I haven't really slept good in a long time. Um, I stopped taking melatonin because the weird dreams. I might have to go back to it. The weird dreams were better than not enough sleep. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, uh... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna find someone to raid. <laughs> Thank you guys for the bus stream! Mm -hmm. Let me see. Who can I raid? And then... Rust for a while. Um... Let me see. I like how I gave up once I broke the immersion with the bus. I just, I fucking just gave up. <laughs> uh, hold on. Um, why is there a clip on my homepage of Nerissa saying she's good at making children? What the fuck has Nerissa been up to on the street? <laughs> Slight concern. Slight concern. Uh, let me see, who can I read? Um. Hmm. 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 Let me see. Hmm. Da -da -da. Trying to see what kind of has similar vibe. Hmm. You know what? I do like to send people to a celebrations as well. So I think I'll send you guys to um if someone who's having a celebration right now. Mm -mm. Yeah. Hold on, my brain. <laughs> I think I'll send you guys to Nyana. Because mm -hmm. Nyana is doing a 15k celebration emo karaoke And that sounds like maybe it's a little chaotic So let's go Let's go check that out <laughs> Hold on Um, Let me make sure it's not a bad time To read her Hold on mm -hmm. Let me see Um What am I doing? I'm literally opening the wrong website. I can't read. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Hold on! Nyana! Nyana! Okay. I might do regular karaoke though. I don't know if I'll do shorts karaoke or not. I, I try to do a short stream. Um, every so often, because I know some people do really prefer them, but I personally don't. <laughs> so, we'll see. If I'm doing karaoke and I'm passionate about that, I might want to not do it. We're gonna raid Nyana! Nyana, as I said, is doing karaoke. Her rules are not listed, so be normal human being. Don't be a weirdo, okay? I'll see you guys! Bye bye! Let me see. Make sure the raid is working. Okay, here we go!